Hey guys! Okay, so I am going to be doing core four makeup with you guys. I um, posted about it this morning. Um, I'm really excited for this week or this like, well, it's kind of like weekend next week. I'm going to be talking about all things that are like kind of like a problem solution. And I hate it. I'm noticing there's some spots. Um, so I might have to fill them in a little more. Okay. So I'm noticing, not noticing, I'm going to do this right now because I'm noticing that it's not filled in all the way and it's going to drive me crazy. So I did my brows. It's not part of the core four, but what I was saying was losing my topic because I'm looking at my brows. Um, so we're going to be talking about kind of problem and solutions. So like today's, this morning's problem, it's not really a problem. It's just kind of more of like a, I want to, I want to get ready fast. What do I need? Um, and there's going to be different things like I've got puffy eyes. What do I need? So I'm excited to kind of share those kinds of things with you guys. So this morning it was, I want to get ready fast. What do I need? So you need the core four. So, um, the core four is a tinted moisturizer because it's just going to be your very quick, get ready fast. It's going to be an eyeshadow that you can use for eyeshadow and for blush. Um, so there's multiple colors you can pick from. Uh, lip gloss, I picked the new latte. And then a mascara. And so you're gonna be able to do your full face. So I added, I already did my brows because not everybody does their brows. So I didn't wanna include core five because if you don't need to do your brows, it's okay. Um, and mine are filling in more and more every day, which is awesome. But I just did my brows quickly. Um, and then there's things you can always add in. If you want to add powder on top or bronze dust powder on top, you can. But I'm going to just do you the core four for you guys. Okay, so I already have my silk on. And then we're going to do tinted moisturizer. So you can rub it in with your hands if you want to, or you can use a brush. I am going to just kind of squirt some of my face. This is medium. If you do a pump on a palette or on a lid, it's a little better. You make sure you only use a pump, but I probably use a little more. Okay, so I'm going to blend that in. So this is number one of the core four. I have a little kind of blemish right there, and it really is kind of like almost like a filter for your face where it's not going to be full coverage. It's just going to be just a nice, and you can stipple, you can brush tinted moisturizer on. Um, it's going to be a nice, just kind of like, like I said, like almost like a filter over your face, just to kind of blur imperfections. And this one's medium. I'm really feeling like warm weather. And so that's why I'm going for a little bit of the medium. And since I already did my brows, I'm going to have to be a little careful. I've got a little, I noticed you guys, I was like, why am I getting zits right here? Well, I've been wearing baseball caps and PSA, do not use retinol before you get your eyebrows waxed. So she told me about four days I'm supposed to wait. Well, I had used retinol on my eyelids for the first time. I was like, let's just try it. I've been hearing it. I hear not to put retinol on your eyelids, but I was like, let's just try it. So I put retinol on my eyelids and then I got my eyebrows waxed like four days later. <sighs> yeah. Not her fault. My fault because I put retinol. So PSA, if you're going to get your eyebrows waxed, don't use retinol for just, just about a week. Just do that. Um, because, or even, I mean, she said four days. But our retinol is so powerful, you guys. That shows because I did it about four days. But it was the first time I had ever used it on my eyelids. Okay, it's a little weird if my brows are already done. Okay, now since we're doing core four, normally I would say use candlelight as your base color. But because we're doing core four and I want to show you how quick you can do your makeup without, um, with just a few products, we are just going to use tinted moisture on our, on our eyelids. Normally I wouldn't say to do this because it... Um, has moisturizers in it so it's not gonna like your shadow's not gonna last as long but because I want to show you guys the quick face we are gonna do it on our eyelids and like I said it's kind of hard with my brows that helped kind of with that <laughs> and it's moisturizing I've been putting climate control on it but yeah my fault my fault and get inside so first product like a filter for your face, tinted moisturizer, core, core four. This is our number one. Our number two, I'm going to throw on our lip gloss. I did latte. This is the new one. This is kind of like, it's funny because in the tube, this one looks like the lightest, but on the lips, it's like the medium one. I think this one, everybody, is this the light one? This is the pink one. Toffee. Toffee's the middle one. This one's the lightest one. It's like a little bit of a light pink. Super moisturizing. We'll talk about lip gloss and about how it doesn't have wax in it this next week. Second product, 
third one, we're doing ballet slipper. I was just talking with Ashley about this this morning. She said she loves mulberry, and I used to love mulberry as a cheek and a shadow color, but I love ballet slipper. So this one is a really pretty light pink. It is limited edition, so if you love it, grab it. It's so pretty. And if you guys did not see, I am in a Cinderella challenge with my team where I've challenged my team to sell a um, hundred dollars today. So you guys want to grab a core four, you guys would help me with my goal. So let me know. I'm just going to grab a brush. You can use your fingers if you want to. So it's nice. This whole core four, you can literally use your hands. You don't need brushes, but if you have them, use them. So it's an eyeshadow color. And now we'll just blend it in with our finger for the blush. So look at that, it just gives it a little bit of color. I probably used a little too much, but just dab it in. Kind of just all over. It's near Hudson yelling. Okay, now mascara. So normally I, I use our primer, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna show you guys how our mascara looks without the primer. If you wanna add that in, I 100% would, but we are gonna do our mascara and then our face is gonna be done. If you have a color you like to use for blush and for your eyes, let me know. Probably should have curled my lashes. I love our primer because it curls my lashes as I'm using it. We'll just get a couple layers of mascara on but I love that this just makes you feel put together we're actually gonna go to the store um, because we're doing just a little like aunt and uncle grandparent birthday party um, for the kids tomorrow because they didn't get a party last year and so Hudson gets to kind of his birthday's not till June but since he didn't get a birthday last year we're doing a double birthday so we're gonna do that tomorrow and so we're gonna go to the store you guys no, normally you guys know I feel like I'm like the Pinterest mom for like birthday parties and I don't know if it's just as the kids get older definitely I mean I'm still an Amazon mom but I'm definitely not a Pinterest mom right now with us moving uh yeah everybody's like you guys are making cupcakes uh no we're going to Walmart and we're gonna see what I know better care we're gonna see what uh they got at Walmart for cupcakes. It's only going to be like six people. I'm not making this whole feast. We're literally getting Casey's pizza, bags of chips, juice boxes, water, and we have a pinata from last year. So we're just going to the park in my hometown and the kids can just play. And we have like random tablecloths. Since we're moving, we're just like using all the stuff that we have. I'm using this to curl it. Like I said, the lash primer, oh... It's crazy what my lashes look like with the lash primer, but this is still good. And it gives you kind of more of that natural look. Not like you, you really tried. It's kind of that look where you're like the no makeup makeup look. And like I said, um, I'm going to be posting too. You guys are going to be the first ones to hear about it. So I post about the Mother's Day bundle, but another bundle that is that just launched is if you spend $125 this week, you get a free heel cream. How awesome is that? You guys get a free heel cream and free shipping. So I'm gonna post about that as well. But it's such a good deal. So if you wanted to order this Core 4, I'll go over pricing really quick. So the Core 4 Tinted Moisturizer is 45, a gloss is 20, a shadow is 22, I should have did the math and a mascara is 28. So this is 50. This is 70. 115, right? 115. So you could get this and you could add one more thing on. Maybe you want to add brows. You know what? Add the primer on. If you added ordered this, you would get the free heel cream and you get free shipping. And if you're a preferred customer, you get 10% off, which is so, such a good deal. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I did not set it with powder. You don't have to set our makeup with powder. If you're more oily, I would suggest throwing on some powder on top. If you are like, oh, I need a little bit of bronzer, even though I feel like our blush really did kind of lift my cheeks. But if you want a bronzer, we've got our bronze dust stick that you could kind of go here, here, nose, forehead. But otherwise, 
four four full face with just these four products and then I, like I said I did my brows beforehand um, I don't consider that's core four just because like I said some people have naturally amazing amazing brows that I'm so jealous of and so they don't need to use that but these four if you guys have any questions just let me know